Hey everyone, I'm Crystal Jane and in today's video I am so excited to film because I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the Met Gala outfits and oh my gosh, I love this year's theme. For those who don't know, this year's theme is Heavenly Bodies, the imagination of fashion and Catholicism? Catholicism? Something like that? Heavenly Bodies, the imagination of fashion and Catholicism. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but I think you understand where I'm trying to go with this. It's the cross between religion and fashion. And I think, I think like imagining that collab like in my head without even seeing the outfits, I just saw like elegance, beautiful, rich, you know, gold crosses. I think of murals of the church. I think of stained glass. I just think of church. And just a disclaimer out there, I am not going to bash anyone. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts, but I'm not bashing any of these celebrities. I'm not saying they're terrible people. I'm not saying they should have dressed this way or the other. I mean, if you look, if you feel beautiful in an outfit, that everyone thinks is ugly but you personally think it's beautiful then you should wear that outfit like who cares what anyone thinks but this is my personal opinion on what I think looks good and as a stylist of what I think they should have wore or they shouldn't have worn or whatever like it's just my opinion on the outfit and if anything it's a bash towards the stylist or the designer and not the celebrity okay oh and I just wanted to say that I am purposely wearing this shirt and this rosary for the video, even though you can't really see the rosary, but I'm wearing this just for the theme so I can fit in. Do you think it looks pretty Met gala -y? I don't, I mean, I look like a gypsy, but it's okay. I, I thought of everything that was in my closet that this shirt and rosary fit the theme the most. And I know you're not supposed to wear rosaries, but Jesus knows it's for the video. Okay, so the first celebrity I'm going to talk about is the beautiful Blake Lively. Oh my goodness, this dress is, I'm starting it off with a big bang. By the way, I got all these pictures from Vogue. There's literally 162 pictures of people in their beautiful, stunning outfits, and I only chose 29 only. I couldn't choose like less than that because it was so hard. I wanted to talk about a lot of people's clothes, but this would be an hour long video probably. So I, I chose my favorite 29 outfits. So anyways, back to Blake. Blake Lively is dressed in Atelier, I hope I'm saying that right, Versace. Oh my goodness, she looks so beautiful. This is literally my favorite outfit, one of many. <laughs> Her body looks banging in this dress. Like, this dress is so elegance like when i look at this dress it's just so elegant fits the theme perfectly i love her headpiece how it's not like too out there to me i'm not the biggest fan of headpieces or anything like too crazy you will see in my style i'm more of a less is more kind of girl but anyways it doesn't even matter her headpiece is just perfect like if i were to wear a headpiece it would be that For those who are not really educated in met gala fashion the most simplest downplay of the term Met Gala fashion is more of like every year it's a theme and they wear a costume for that theme except this is more of a fashion-y statement instead of a costume you don't the whole point is to stick to the theme and it looks good and it does not look like a costume you don't want to look like you just got it from a costume store and you're wearing it to the Met Gala like that's not the purpose but if you were to think about it in those terms, it's kind of like a costume fashion thing because there's always a theme and you have to dress according to the theme. But the whole point is not to look tacky. You know, you want to look good, fitting the theme, but not tacky. Amelia Clark and Dolce & Gabbana Altamoda. And first of all, with the makeup, oh my gosh. Okay, so whoever did her makeup, he or she, I don't know what look they were going for, but that blush... No, 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 no. The makeup overall is just like, mm. it doesn't really look like her. Maybe it's, I don't know. There's just something off about it. And automatically that blush, you already know that it's a weight. Blend that out, please. Like if you have blush looking like that, don't walk out like that. Don't let a friend walk around with blush that pigmented and that 
not blended. Like, you need to blend that, okay? Second, for her outfit, uh, it's not the worst, and it's not the best. It's okay. I don't know, Dolce & Gabbana did not do good with their outfits. Just saying, so far, I'm not really impressed. It looks okay. Like, I don't know. The looks that she pulls in Game of Thrones are incredible. So whoever's a stylist on that show should be her stylist for the Met Gala. They would have killed it. I mean, it's not the same look, pretty much. But, I mean, if you're good, you're a good stylist, so. Okay, so the next person I want to talk about is one of my favorite celebrities. And it's Selena Gomez and her designer's coach and the dress itself i don't think it looks bad like a lot of people are bashing her for it i mean it's pretty you know it's simple it's ruffly it's not the worst dress but i wouldn't have worn it to the met gala i don't know where you would wear this to it's more it gives me more um bedtime feels kind of but you know that trend is very trendy that look that like style is very in right now the whole like nightgown or not nightgown but like you know bedtime look wearing it you know during the day and stuff that's very in right now her spray tan doesn't look that great um it looks like the spray tan like before you wash it like that's what it looks like and then obviously her makeup to me wasn't that great they should have darkened up that lip just a little bit you know made, made it an ombre like how Kim Kardashian did but that's you know my opinion she said that she felt beautiful in this dress regardless of the pictures the next morning but you know if you look beautiful and I mean if you feel beautiful you look beautiful on the outside she's a very beautiful girl there's no doubt about it I think that her styling team needs to be revamped. I think she needs me as her stylist because I would not have let her walk out like that. She doesn't look terrible, but it looks like something went wrong. Like her spray tan, the lip, and then the dress. The dress doesn't look like it fit the theme too. Okay, so Miley Cyrus looked hot in her dress. Like so beautiful, low V, that backless look with the chain like hanging down I don't know if you if I post a picture right here oh my gosh so sexy but my only thing is this doesn't go with the theme she wore like she wore very crosses in her jewelry and as that is very in theme the whole overall look wasn't in theme so Nicki Minaj she's an Oscar de la Renta <sighs> I love her headpiece that's the only thing that I like about her outfit. First of all, she, her figure doesn't look the best in it. Her boobs look like they're very suffocated. It looks like this dress does not fit her well. I don't like this shawl. She's going for the devil because that's how she's portrayed in the media. Blah blah blah. It goes with her song um, Chen Li, and it looks. I mean, it it fits the theme. So props to that. I love the headpiece. I the dress. I do not like the ombre. I do not like it. I don't know, it just looks so tacky. I'm sorry, Oscar de la Renta, but her, the dress, it just looks ill-fitted. It looks like she's suffocating. And the dress itself looks tacky to me. I don't like the ombre. I don't like the shiny sequency. It looks too costumey for me. I don't like it. All right, Kim Kardashian, I think she looks gorgeous in it. I love this dress. The cross, beautiful. She's in... Versace and I love her hair, makeup, the ombre lip. It's beautiful. She looks so beautiful in this dress. Her body looks heavenly. It fits the theme, the cross. The only criticism people will say is that it's too simple. It's not crazy. She doesn't, she's not too edgy, but that's not her style. Blake was wearing Versace. I think Versace was doing a fantastic job this year with their designs. Solange Knowles in Iris Van Herpen. I do not like this look and I saw a, like a recent video of someone talking about her outfit and they liked it but I do not like it at all. Her outfit looks like an octopus. I'm not even like she's a beautiful girl. I love her. Obviously I love Beyonce and everything. Great. But the designer. Her uh, her. Her, the designer and stylist's fault because her outfit looks like an octopus not liking it and she's wearing a do-rag why would you wear a do-rag why would you wear nikes to 
a Met Gala. She, was, she wasn't wearing Nikes. Well, why would you wear a do-bag? All right, Cardi B and Moschino. 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 Do I say that right? I don't know. I feel like I always say words weird. I, anyway, I think she looks great. Um, I love the detail. The dress is great. I, I'm not the biggest fan of that too poofy of the dress. Um, that white part, it looks... I like it. It's it's good. Great detailing. You know, fits the theme perfectly. I'm sure it looks way more prettier in person. Like, she looks great. I love. I like her hair, how big it was. It fits her. And, yeah. Alright. Travis Scott and Christian Louboutin shoes. And Kylie Jenner and Alexander Wang. Why would they say just his shoes? Like, what's his outfit that he's wearing? So, I don't know his outfit, but, I mean, Kylie looked okay don't know how her outfit fits the theme i was told or i heard that she was the dress is supposed to be like a throne why are you in a throne i mean you could be the priest of the church like why are people getting confused with kings and queens like i don't know why i don't Am I missing something here? Oh, so hers, I love her sunglasses, not for the Met Gala though. Her outfit, not for the Met Gala. There's, I don't see the theme. And then Travis Scott, he looks okay. I mean, I don't see his, I don't see where the theme falls in this couple. So I'm just gonna move on. All right, Gigi Hadid and Atelier Versace. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Versace killed it this year. I think this is their like this is their era. But she looks like a beautiful stained glass in the church. Gorgeous. Love this dress. One of my favorites. Nick Jonas and Dolce and Gabbana wouldn't have gone with the shoes. I I like you know the whole thing over here. He does look very churchy, but um yeah, see it's okay. I I like it. I like it. J Lo and Balmain, and she looks. Sexy. Her body is also very heavenly. She killed it with the theme, as the queen always does. Trevor Noah in Balmain. I actually really like this outfit. I love how the cross is on his shoulder rather than, you know, on his back or he's just wearing a cross necklace. This detailing right here is so exquisite. It's very different i mean it's not like out of this world like original but it's like it's pretty original because it's on the shoulder instead of the back i think it looks beautiful um yeah i really like his outfit the maxwell moschino and her dress is so beautiful very fits the theme once again um the detailing on that dress i can already tell so beautiful she looks stunning in this like great job Okay, so Mindy K Kaling, Kaling, you know, from the office and the Mindy project. Her dress, the designer is Vasilis. I can't even pronounce it. I'm just going to write it again. Vasilis Zolius. Ever. She looks like this is a, literally a costume. I don't see how it fits the theme. She's wearing a crown yet again. How is that part of the theme? Am I missing something here? Do I sound dumb when I'm questioning? Alright, so Kendall Jenner and Off-White. Boring. Not impressed. Doesn't look cute. I'm sorry. I mean, it doesn't look ugly. It looks it looks fine for another event. Not a fan of this. Alright, so Troy Sivian. I, Sivian, I don't know who he is. He's in Valentino, though. And I actually really do like this outfit. Obviously, he's supposed to be devilish. really like the mesh top. Um, and the whole... Pantsuit, uh, I think it looks really clean. James, uh, James, James Smith. Jaden Smith and Louis Vuitton, I don't like it at all. Why would you wear Nikes or sneakers of any sort to the Met Gala? And why would you bring a plaque of yourself? Was he carrying around that plaque? Can you comment down below and let me know if he just received that plaque? Adwick, um, Bozeman and Versace, am I even... I'm sorry if I'm fumbling these names, these last names, but he's in Versace, from Black Panther. He looks incredible. This is my favorite from the guys collection. One of my favorites. He looks very clean in theme, not tacky. He looks beautiful, very godly, very the man of God. He was there to deliver. Priyanka and Val Florin. She, oh my gosh, the most beautiful Mary I've ever seen her headpiece 
her dress, everything is stunning. Ralph Lauren killed it with her because she looks so beautiful, so elegant. Her body is even shaped in that beautiful gown. She just looks so beautiful and this is one of my favorites. Love the velvet, the, the rich burgundy color, the detailing on her headpiece, very Virgin Mary. Like, you just cannot go wrong with this. The nice chain in the back, like, this is a Mecca look. Kind of grande and Vera Wang. I love it. Her dress is from a mural from a famous church that I forgot what it's called. Definitely her style, the bow in her hair, her makeup look. Her makeup artist killed it with her. She just looks so clean and elegant and beautiful and chic and all of the above. What I love it even more is that her style is still within what she was wearing. Like, she has a very precise style very old-timey girly shabby chic kind of look and it showed in that dress still and she still fit the theme and it's still beautiful and sarah jessica parker and dolce and gabbana dolce and gabbana did not kill it no because this dress queen of hearts she looks like the queen of hearts and if this was a deck of cards themed met gala then she would have killed it but Dolce & Gabbana did her dirty, and her stylist did her dirty because, or unless she's her own stylist, I don't know how. Um, they did her dirty because she's usually serving looks with this Met Gala. She did not serve a look. Jasmine Sanders, styled by H&M, who, or not styled by, designed, her dress is designed by H&M. Who knew? Because I didn't know H&M designed. They killed it because it looks like she's literally wearing liquid gold. So beautiful, so simple, but so beautiful. Like, it's simple because she's just wearing a gold dress, but it's not that simple because she's wearing a liquid gold looking dress and it's very beautiful and big and she looks like a princess because of how it's shaped. The dress itself is shaped beautifully and it fits her like, like she looks like a princess and it's so, oh my gosh. And her hair, her hair, like, the flowers in her hair, she just looks so elegant and so looks like a woman of God. One of my favorite looks by far. Like, And then last but not least, Rihanna killing it as the Pope. Her designer is Juan Galliano, Galliano. And the outfit is so exquisite because of the detailing itself. She's wearing this beautiful jacket and then she's showing her sexy, you know, figure from the short dress that she's wearing. I believe it's the jacket, right? Yeah. She looks so beautiful, like the detailing. Everyone's just dying over it and obviously she looks great. The makeup, however, she, no. So from what I know, like I think there was like a whole team with her outfit. It took like 500 hours. I don't know. It took a very long time and it obviously shows with the detailing of the outfit. It looks so great on her. Okay, so that is it for my thoughts of the Met Gala. Let me know if you agree with me on any of these outfits that I chose to give you my opinion on. Or let me know if you disagree. And let me know a person that you wanted me to review their outfit. There's just so many people like Zendaya and Bella Hadid. I didn't like her outfit. There's an opinion right there. But... Let me know what you thought of the outfits this year. Who was your favorite? Who was your least favorite? If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like or a dislike. Like, I want to know your feedback. Did you like this video? Thank you so much for watching. All my social media and my blog, The Crystal Jane, link down below. Follow me on there, and I'll see you guys next time.